सो पैंडास इज एन ओपन सोर्स लाइब्रेरी इन पाइथन दैट वी यूज अ लॉट फॉर रीडिंग डेटा परफॉर्मिंग डेटा मैनिपुलेशन एंड रिलेटेड टास्क सो इट सपोर्ट्स आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स रीडिंग फाइल्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट फॉर्मेट्स लाइक सी एस वी जेसॉन एक्सेल एस टी एम एल एंड सो ऑन एंड दीज आर एक्चुअली द फॉर्मेट्स द वेरी कॉमन इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ डेटा साइंस वी कैन समराइज द डेटा वी कैन फिल्टर एंड मॉडिफाई द डेटा वी कैन मर्ज मल्टीपल फाइल्स एंड सो ऑन सो लेट्स हैव अ क्विक इंट्रो ऑफ दिस लाइब्रेरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू इम्पोर्ट इट जस्ट लाइक वी हैव डन इन द केस ऑफ नाम पाई यू यूज अ एलियास पी डी सो वेर एवर यू से पी डी इन द कोड पाइथन अंडरस्टैंड दैट पी डी मीन्स द पैंडास लाइब्रेरी सो वी रन दिस दैट मीन्स वी आर वी ऑलरेडी हैव पैंडास ऑन अ सिस्टम बिकॉज वी डू नॉट गेट एनी एरर इन केस यू गेट एनी एरर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू इंस्टॉल पैंडास यू कैन सिंपली यूज वन ऑफ द टू कमांड्स गिवेन हेयर सो इफ यू हैव एनाकॉन्ड ऑन सिस्टम विथ पाइथन थ्री जस्ट द वे दैट वी आर told you to install it in the installation section of this course then you can just do pip install pandas but if you have python 3 and python 2 multiple version of python in your system locally without an account then you can do pip 3 install pandas pip 3 means python 3 is pip so i'll just use this command pip install pandas so we will learn this let's see what output we get so as expected it totally tells you that the requirement is already satisfied which is basically you already have pandas in your system let's check the version of pandas so for this course we are using this version of pandas 0.25.1 so this is pandas now let's read a csv file so we already have a csv in our directory so this is how the csv looks like so these are the column names they are separated by a comma then you have value separated by a comma right so let's read this csv in python remember that these were the column names item identifier item weight so on so using pd.read csv function you can just give the path of the csv file and you will be able to access it so now your csv file has been stored in the variable data first of all let's see what are the first three rows of this data set so dot head function basically lets you see the initial rows of the data set three means basically first three rows you can convert it to say 20 and you will get the first 20 rows so this is our data set these are the columns multiple columns and these are the values all the rows the next step is you want to understand how many rows and columns are present in the data so do that you can just use the dot shape property so data dot shape so we have 8523 rows and 12 columns now let's print the name of columns so data dot columns gives you the name of columns so these are the columns we have item identifier item weight item fact contained visibility outlet location type and so on the next interesting thing is you can also find the data type of the columns of a data set so as you can see these are real values 9.3 5.2 and these are you know string values so let's see what are the data types of our columns so data dot d types is the property that lets you view the data types of the columns so object essentially means where there is a string float 64 is again float or real data type so these columns item weight and item visibility are decimals and item identifier is a string so let's see item identifier is a string item weight and item visibility are decimals makes sense right then you have outlet establishment here which is int so let's see what is this so if you see the outlet establishment here, you will see there is no decimal because it's the year so this was how you can access the data types of columns in pandas the next thing is what if you want to know what are the total number of missing values so you can use data then use the isna function and then use the sum function this line basically says first of all count the total number of values that are missing in each column in data and sum them up so that you get a total number let's see so the item weight column has 1463 missing values and outlet size has 2410 missing values apart from this no column has missing values so this is very useful when you want to actually understand that okay my data might be having missing values so this is a very useful step during pre processing next thing is you can also calculate or find the summary of the data so summary is essentially column wise you know count mean standard deviation minimum maximum value this just gives you a quick overview of the data itself notice that it only includes the columns that are numerical it doesn't include columns that have string type like item identifier because you cannot count the summary for them so this was basics of pandas pandas has a pretty good documentation 
and you have things like getting started user guide api reference developer guide and so on you can choose whatever you need by default when you work with pandas you usually go to the reference guide so these are the for example file different file types that pandas accepts like sas html excel so on and you want to do some manipulation functions a lot of things are available here and you can select whichever function you need for example for plotting or for general utility functions you can select that function and you will come to know details about how to call that function what values it returns some examples and this is how you can work with pandas